welcome back to my channel i hope that you are doing well so i did not post last week um last week was today's the 15th so i did not post i don't know like, i think my last post was like on the first or the second or something so i feel so bad like i did not know that i would feel so bad you know if i didn't post but i was like oh my god like i feel like i'm gonna like fall off no one is gonna remember me and all that good stuff but guys i'm back Oof, eyebrows looking crazy but anyways guys i am back okay and today we're gonna be trying something colorful and i guess spring like and i'm also gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make different color eyeshadow base um if you don't really have like different type of eyeshadow base so if you want to like get your makeup to pop your makeup your eyeshadow to pop but you don't really have like different color base like you know or you don't have the money to go and buy them you can make your own so i normally use concealer anyway so i'm gonna be showing you how to get your concealer to use your concealer as like a colored base to get your eyeshadows to pop more okay so i'm just gonna hurry up and do my brows because i don't want this to be too long so i'm gonna do my brows and come back and we're gonna get into the makeup all right guys so i have my brows done and so what i'm gonna do now is hop into my eyes okay so just like you would use like a eyeshadow primer um for a lighter concealer you're gonna it's pretty much the same thing okay so what i'm gonna do is i don't really have a eyeshadow primer or as i said one that i really like um the one that i have is from urban decay and it's trash to me um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be using this concealer shade and it is called um it is called creamy beige and what i'm gonna do is okay so we're gonna be playing around with colors today bright colors this is actually my second time filming this because i filmed it two days ago and the lighting was just changing so much outside so my exposure was like crazy like it was just at the end when i was doing my foundation the light just went up and it looked as if um it looks as if my foundation doesn't match me and all that good stuff so i was just like you know what let me try to re-record it again but anyway so we're gonna be working with these two colors right here and it's this one in the the yellow color and the orange color this is from the Juvia's Place Zulu palette and so what I'm gonna do is so I have the concealer right here I'm pretty much just rubbing my finger because yellow is gonna be my base so I'm gonna rub the I'm sorry my hands are dry because I keep washing my hands so um, I'm gonna rub mix these two together Because the thing is, why I'm doing this is I realize that the yellow on its own, it's it seems bright, but it's not when it goes on my eyes, it's just not as pigmented as I would like it to be. So I'm making sure that it's like super pigmented, you know? You see? And I'm going to keep doing that until it's as yellow as I would like it to be. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, brush and I'm just going to pretty much blend my base. Okay. So as you can see, it's already yellow. So you don't have to even worry about using a lot and just like caking on a lot of eyeshadow because it, the base is already yellow with a trick like this you can pretty much make any um base that you want to i'm gonna go in with the same eyeshadow color and we're just gonna start packing that on okay so i'm going in with that dusting off the exit and just pack just pack it on okay 
So you want it to be like super vibrant. So you're packing it on, but you're also filling the base, the cream, and making sure it's set. You know, just like going in with powder. And then I'm just gonna blend everything. And this is quite easy, it's really not hard, it's not gonna take long. Just make sure you blend the outer corners, um, the outside portion, making sure that there's no harsh, crazy line. After I'm done with that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this orange. Very orange, as you can see, it's just a lighting. But I'm gonna go in with the orange and I'm gonna go on the outer corner. Right there. And what I'm doing is just, I'm starting right here at the outer corner and I'm just bringing it up here above in the crease just a little bit so I'm doing it in pattern motion so what I'm gonna also do dust that excess orange off we're gonna blend and as you can see we lost a lot of that yellow but we're gonna go back in with the yellow and just pat it all the way up here and bring it up here That orange, whew, super vibrant. It's like not moving. Like, get out the way. I didn't mean for you to take over like that. Jeez. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move on to the next eye, and we're gonna come back and finish up the eyes together, okay? Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is um, moisturize. I already was moisturizing everything, but I'm just going to re-moisturize my skin um, and prime. You open, we should be close and friend. I'm gonna be going in with some powder and this is a Maybelline Fit Me loose powder and this is the darkest shade I think. I actually don't really like this um, powder because it's like it's not even like it's dark it's red so you're gonna see, see? where is that oh, red I'm gonna be going in with this concealer and this is the elf um, hydrating concealer I've been having this issue where my under eyes are just like i guess you could say super patchy and just like not as full coverage as i would like it to be so i'm gonna let it sit for a few seconds and blend it out okay so my concealer been sitting for about a good minute or two um so i'm gonna be going in and just blending that <clears throat> of 
coronavirus. This concealer is so pretty. I'm rich. Damn, this concealer is a pretty. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. Ooh, why wasn't I using this concealer before? I mean, I use it, but not not as often as I use this Milani. But this bad girl is looking pretty sitting. Anyway, so I'm gonna move on. We blended up um, the under eye, and I'm going to move on to doing my foundation. So I think I'm gonna mix um, Fenty Beauty. This is a hydrating one, and this is in the shade <clears throat> 445. I'm gonna mix my Fenty with my Maybelline Superstay. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread that all over, okay? So I'm gonna be going in with the sponge. And I'm just gonna blend it up, okay? Okay, I think I like the coverage and that's what I'm looking for. Like I want coverage underneath my eyes, bro. Like I need coverage. I need coverage. And I feel like the concealers, they give coverage and all that. But by the time you go in with your brush and all that stuff, like it's like, it gives me that patchy thing that I don't like. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, I'm gonna be going in with a little bit, not too much because this Milani concealer a little bit goes a long way. So I'm gonna just put it right here, just right there. And a little on my forehead, a little on my nose, and you know the drill. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into contouring and I'm gonna contour right here, right here, and then a little bit over this side. Okay, just a little. impression you open we should be close and friend if you open engaging you on my agenda request my chariot get ya the doors open take the let's go back in ouch let's go back in we should be close and friend if you open engaging you on my agenda Request my chariot, get ya. The doors open. I always try to use like a very modest amount of powder, but it never works. And I'm just like, you know, I'm not gonna try to follow anyone. If I use a lot of powder, then I use a lot of powder. If I'm heavy handed, then I'm heavy handed because I just can't do anything about that like I'm just like so heavy-handed like Lord see but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with um, my contour palette and I'm gonna use both I'm gonna mix both shades the dark and the lighter one and dust it off and just go ahead and contour
Alrighty, and then to finish off the eyes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this shade right here from this palette from BH Cosmetics and it's my Riri. And I'm just gonna use that palette, this shade right here called Chai. And I am going to put it right here in the inner corner. So anyway guys, let me go get my hair together and then we're gonna come oh, back. Guys, this is the finished look. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Everything is flawless as ever. And my eyeshadow is just, everything is just looking good. Everything is just looking right. And honestly guys, this was really easy, nothing hard. Um, you can try, you can play around. We are all home and we're not going anywhere so don't be afraid to play in some color get like creative but anyway guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up go ahead and hit the subscribe button also turn on your post notification so that you can be notified every time i upload a new video okay um yeah guys i hope you enjoy this video and i will see you in my next one Bye.